The overall goal of this procedure is to isolate cells into different cell cycle phases using centrifugal elutriation. This method can help answer key questions in the cancer therapeutics field because the isolation of cells into separate phases allows for the interrogation of phase-dependent effects of anti-cancer compounds. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows for separation of cells into specific phases using physical properties rather than chemical perturbations. To start the experiment, install the strobe assembly into the centrifuge such that the power cord is fed out of the chamber through the port on the left. Adjust the strobe flash lamp so that it lines up with the viewing window when the centrifuge is closed. Secure the assembly in place by tightening two Phillips head screws at the top of each bracket and then by tightening the thumb screws at the bottom of the bracket. Plug the power cord into the strobe power port located at the back of the centrifuge. Next, set the rotor straight down onto the centrifuge drive hub and firmly secure it with a T-handle hex wrench. Then, place the assembly containing the elutriation chamber, counterbalance, rotating seal assembly, and a mounting plate onto the rotor. Push down evenly, placing one hand on the elutriation chamber and the other hand on the counterbalance until the bolts on the rotor snap into place. Place the pin located at one end of the cable into the hole in the rotating seal assembly.